Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. In my experimenting with homemade butane stoves, I wanted a way to refill these camp stove butane tanks to save money, because I burn a lot of it. These camp stove butane tanks are expensive as most of you know, around five bucks for the small ones and seven or more for the larger ones. These other type canisters can be found for about $1.25 if you know where to look and is a source for savings in their own right if you have a stove that uses them. As I have seen this type of canister go for about five bucks each as well. One thing to note is this will be straight butane, not butane propane blend as found in most camp stove canisters. For burner testing and summer use, this is not an issue. And for the purpose of refilling, this is a positive attribute because the disposable tank will not be subjected to the elevated pressure propane brings. One more thing, I covered this briefly in an earlier video, but I wanted this subject to have its own video to make this information easier to find. Okay, now let's get started making an adapter so we can refill the camp stove tanks with the cheap ones. Step one is to disassemble an empty disposable lighter. It needs to be the type with an adjustable flame, as a non-adjustable Bic lighter does not have the component we need. This white plastic piece is what we're after. You can see this plastic piece fits perfectly on the stem of the butane cartridge. Next, we need to drill out the small hole to 1 8 of an inch. Clamping small plastic pieces that are round securely in the vise is hard to do. So I grip the piece in the drill and clamp the drill bit in the vise. Now we need some 1 8 stainless steel tube which I got at Ace Hardware. 1 8 brass tube might also work, but I wanted the extra strength of the stainless. I cut a length about three quarters of an inch long. It can be longer, but not much shorter than that. I file a notch into the end, making starting the hacksaw cut easier. This cut in the end is to allow liquid to pass while the probe is forced against the plastic valve pin inside the camp stove butane tank. I clean up the edges with a file while spinning the workpiece in the drill. The side with the notch gets a generous taper to help it pass the rubber seal and the camp stove butane tank valve. Now I mix up some epoxy to glue the steel probe into the plastic piece from the lighter. Insert the probe, notch side out, into the plastic piece about 1 8 of an inch. A generous bead is added here because the piece will see firm downward force. Now follow your manufacturer's recommendations for curing time before putting the part to use. While we wait, let's put these empty tanks in the freezer. This will help the transfer of fuel into them. The last step is to add the rubber seal. This is made from a short piece of silicone hose. This hose is used for gas-powered radio-controlled models as fuel line. This piece needs to be shortened a bit. This is the best way I have found to make a clean cut on this stuff. You can see it has left a nice clean square edge to the hose. This is important because this will be squeezed against the face of the valve to make a seal. Here you can see the adapter as it would be used. I don't hear any leaking, so this adapter is finished. Now let's refill some tanks. This one states a 7 and 3 quarter ounce or 220 gram capacity. Weighing the empty tank tells us our tear weight. The refill probe is inserted firmly into the tank valve. The refill cartridge placed on top and pressed down with firm pressure. You can hear the liquid transferring into the bottom tank. 
After the first use, the probe will stick onto the stem of the refill can. I chose to just leave it on there after that. Weighing the tank after refilling shows I overshot my mark a bit. The gross weight, or the total weight, minus the tear weight, or weight of the empty tank, shows I transferred about 260 grams of fuel into this tank. 40 grams too much. This is a tank I use for testing stoves, so I'm not worried about it. A tank refilled for real camping use needs to be on the mark, as the empty space inside is needed to buffer pressure changes from changing temperature. Not only that, an overfilled tank will tend to spit liquid through your stove, making it sputter until the excess fuel in the tank is used up. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful, and I hope to see you again in a couple of weeks.